Hello, it's Pauline here, and today we're going to take a look at saved sections, which is a very handy feature in Squarespace. So you're going to want to be in edit mode for this. So once you get into edit mode, when you examine each of your page sections, you'll see there is now this handy little heart icon. And in order to save a section to use later, it's as easy as clicking this heart icon. So I'll save this one with the book. Um, I will also click on this section here with the three pieces of text and the little image. Save that one. Up here, if the heart icon is greyed out, that means you've already saved it. So that's a super simple way of saving sections to use in other places. Of course, you can use them on the same page, but more likely you're going to want to come to a different page. So now, for example, if we want to put one of those sections on the about page, I'm coming to the about page, I'm coming into edit mode. Let's scroll down, let's scroll down. Okay, so I'll just add a section in here. When you click add section, you get this list of um, generic Squarespace sections that you can add. But here you've got this thing that says saved sections. Come in here and what you'll see is we've got four sections. Um, two of them are very similar because I made a small change to the, the dark blue section here and then saved it again. And then you're going to want to choose the section that you want to put in this new page. I'll go for the one with the book. Um, each of the sections has a, a, a checkbox area where you can select it. That's not how you add it. So stay away from the checkbox. Just click on the picture of the section itself. And you'll see that comes in very nicely now to this other page. So if I had one book and I wanted to feature it on multiple pages, I could do this. Or perhaps it's another book that's being featured on this um, in this location. And so I can use this section now as my starting point and make changes. Um, when I bring the section in here, it's a snapshot of the section I saved. So the changes that I make here are not going to be reflected um, on my original page. So this is a really good way to save a section and use it as a starting point if you want to do something similar, but not necessarily always exactly the same. So you can have up to 50 saved sections in Squarespace. Something to note, you can't or you can't yet use this handy thing in your website footer or in a blog post. So if I come in now and say edit the footer, you'll notice I don't have the heart icon to save my footer section. And when I say I want to add a section to my footer, I don't have the option on the left here to go and look at my saved sections. So that's just something to note when you're working with saved sections. And then finally, if you decide you want to tidy up your saved sections and delete some of them, the way to do that is actually to pretend you want to add a section come inside here and look inside your saved sections. And this is now when it's handy to click the little checkbox. So for example, I've got two here that are similar. I like the one that's got a bit more space at the bottom. So I'm just going to uh, check the box next to this section. And then you'll see now I've got the delete icon available to get rid of that. I could, if I wanted to, um, check off more than one section to uh, tidy up several at once. But for now, I'll just leave that as one section checked. I'll delete that. And you'll see that now my saved sections library has just the three sections in it. Okay, so that's a super handy feature now from Squarespace. And I hope you find it useful.